Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video is composed of things that I tinkered with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the links in the comment section below. This video should contain tips and tricks of things that I've learned throughout the year. Now, I only plan on leaving this video posted for about 30 days. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Here we are, people. Carrollton, Texas. Just outside the Big D. I'm going to go look at this S70. Try to figure out why it's being stubborn and started. A no crank situation. I'm sorry. A crank no start situation. Intermittent. Usually after the car has been started, shut it off, then it won't restart. So let's go check out what's wrong with this ride. S70 2000 model. I have no idea why this car is covered. I drive all the way here from Albuquerque to tinker with this car and it's covered. Come on. This thing. Disconnect the battery. Reconnect the battery. And the car fires right up. So I'm going to let it idle for a few minutes, ride around the block, bring it back, shut it off, see if it restarts. Fine. Shut it off. We're going to leave the car off for five minutes and then try to restart it. It's been about two minutes, but let me go ahead and try to start it. No start. I'm going to unplug the ignition switch, plug the ignition switch back in, and see if it starts. Here's the ignition switch on this car. This thing is different than what I'm used to seeing. So I'm just going to unplug that plug there, leave it unplugged 30 seconds, plug it back in, see if the car will start. I'm just going to plug this ignition back in. It clicks. Grab the key. See if it starts. No start. Next, I'm going to pull this panel down here, unplug the um, alarm security box, plug it back in, see if it starts. So I came up under the dash and I disconnected this black box here. Plug it back in, car still won't start. This is my next one here that's normally clipped up higher here. I pulled the plug on it, tried to scrape over the pins a little bit, put some dielectric grease on, plug the connector back in. Now I'm going to see if the car starts. So here we go. Still no start. Let me open up the fuse box and pull all the relays out of there, plug them back in. All right. Okay. It's gonna take me a while. I'm usually always late for these things. Oh, he's having his half warm party here in a few minutes? About seven, so then two hours. Okay. What are you doing? Working on somebody's car. Trying to figure out why I don't want to start. In Texas? Yep. Lost the key. Your mom. Yeah, I don't know who's funnier. I pulled all of the fuses and relays from here. No change. I pulled the relays back there. No change. Now I'm going to pull everything up this bank. Plug it back in. See if I get a change. Then I'll do this other bank here. And then I'll pull it. Uh, ECU. I may also pull the uh, relays under the dash before I pull the ECU. We save the ECU for last. I pulled the computer, even though you shouldn't. I pulled it with the battery connected. We did see a little green on this pin down here. So we scraped it. Going to put some dielectric grease on all these. Scrape a few more and put it back in. See if that fixes it. Show you how to remove the later style ECUs on the P2 cars you need this tool right here it goes down and releases the latch that allows you to remove the computer 
if you look down there, you see that white piece and you see this track. You slide this tool down this track and in between that latch and on this side you have to be against the ECU. So you really want this thing to hug the ECU as it goes down. You do not want it sliding out from away from there. Squeeze it while you go down. Push it in place like so. You see that white knob is in there. Then you slide the handle toward the back. That just released the latch. And now the computer will pull up and out. To put it in, you set it down, plug it in. Make sure you don't have any bent pins or anything like that in the ECU. Slide it down the track. This time you slide this down this way until you get it in the position. Pull it back. And the ECU is now locked in place. This transmission one works the same way. The ECU cleaned up one pin and maybe a few others. Now we're going to see if the car starts. Fires right up. We're going to take it for a ride, shut it down, see if it restarts. The car around the block, shut it down. Here we are to see if it restarts. If it doesn't restart, I think the ECU is bad. Let me tap on the box, see if something happens. Well, as you've seen, a very strange problem with that S7. So when I disconnect the ECU, hook it back up, the car starts. Unhooking anything else, hooking anything else back in. If, other than the battery, the car will not start. Um, sad news I received while there, my sister called me. My mom was in hospice uh, as of yesterday. And my sister called me and my mom did pass away about an hour and a half ago. So, not sure how much I'll be on over the next couple of weeks. But I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll post more videos when I can. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.